we'll think of something. Hey, it's just a fun time out here, guys. It's just having a, a good time. We got the tamales here from That's Good Barbecue right down on Main Street across from the Annex. I know the IT folks know about them. So, yeah, give a hand to our sponsor for That's Good Barbecue. Reminder, it's a three-minute competition. In competitive eating circles, they call that a sprint. It's not about capacity, it's about speed. You gotta get them all the way down, you gotta clear your mouth. Please keep them down. Please. Mixed company here. We're gonna have the introductions. I'm gonna go off the list that I have, so they could be anywhere. So when I call your name, give us a little wave. Let me have one. All right, so from PD Communications, Tim Connor. Tim, right back there. Give a wave, Tim. We met him once before, but a big hand for Clarence Loggins, ITS. I understand there's some wagering going on. We don't endorse wagering, but good luck. Uh, engineering, Jeff Kelly. A, a returning competitor. A, a returning winner, correct? A returning champion. This is our champion's corner over here on the side. From uh, also from PD Communications, Robert Carline or Carlene? Robert. Carline, Robert, over here in the back. Public Services Facilities, you met him earlier, he waved his hand. Jerome, Jerome Burke. You know that 16 you promise isn't going to work if he gets 20, right? Okay, we'll keep you posted as we go along. From uh, Traffic Division, Matt Cox. Wearing yellow because, well, that's what traffic guys do, right? Okay. It's safety. It's all about safety and eating tamales. Uh, from Utility Line Maintenance, James Wallingsburg. Over there. In his, in his casual attire today. Casual uniform. From Pals, Ramiro Espinosa. There's Ramiro. Hey. They do anything like this? You were in Dallas before, right? Ever do this in Dallas? That's because Dallas are weenies. Yes. And you can tell them I said so. My name is Mike. Mike Carr. Okay. From our fire department, Cole Ellis. And uh, from Pals, and of course, Pals being Pals, they have nicknames. Jay, oh, they changed it. Jay Wildman Skidmore. Are you wild? How wild are you? Pretty, pretty wild. Let's just say pretty wild man. Pretty. He thinks he's pretty. Okay. Uh, also, pals, Robert the uh, Bruce. Right there. Kansas City Royals. Didn't their season end like six weeks ago? I was being nice. Also, pals, Wade Thundergut Peck. And for pals, I'm not really going to say this one, but I'll whine as well. Brent Barker Ramo Wilson. So I suggest Andy, yeah, uh, Andy and Robert, y'all be ready to move. Although he promised 20, you realize it's not 10 up, 10 down, right? Okay. Uh, pals, Jamie Williams. No fancy nickname for Jamie. Onion Head. Did you pick that name? I didn't think so, no. no. Uh, pals, Andy the Man Pan. Oh, right there. Okay. Facilities, Leo Punch Drunk Marquez. That's our men's entrance. I didn't miss anybody, did I? And the women's field, are they all four here? This, if so, that's our biggest women's field, at, not big women, is the most women competitors we've had. Woo, I'm going to stop before I get myself in trouble. Police Department, Leslie Peck. A returning champion. Returning champion right there, we saw her earlier, from PALS, Kristen Nevin. Also police, Charlene Collins. And from Public Services, Kimberly Morris. Right over there on the side. I'll count you down as we get close to the time. I'll tell you as we get to the two-minute mark. I'll tell you when we have 30 seconds left. We'll count down. If you decide you're done, 
and occasionally somebody does and had their lunch, they're ready to stop, just put your hands up, just push your plate away, and we'll know not to give any more tamales, and that'll be fine. That's more for me. So, I'm not having your seconds, but if you haven't touched them, I might eat one. Okay. Hey, I have rules too, and health and code is in the house. So we would never do that. All right. Competitors ready? Audience ready? There we go. Tamale servers ready. Okay, we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, eat. So the tamale eating has begun. It's a spectacle, not a sport. And what a spectacle it is. Jerome almost on his first plate. Next plate's in front of him. Clarence only has two left on this plate. Grant has Scrap going over here. Competition. It was a huge first minute. Two minutes to go. We're going to start it up again in five and four, three, two, one, go. Okay, let's get that excitement. There's plates flying everywhere. We got one right there. Done. Keep them coming. We got about to have Jamie. We got Brent over here. Plates are empty, so they gotta stop so we can fill their plates. <laughs> Let's just load like crazy. <laughs> we have how much time left? A minute and roughly 20 seconds. So, <laughs> eaters have tamales, eaters have backup tamales. Eaters have patience, we appreciate that. And let's count it down. We're gonna restart in five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh, okay, for three. One, two, three. Okay. 
truck together. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty-three. Okay, we have a tie in the women's division between Leslie Peck and Charlene Collins, both the police department, both with 12. Now, Leslie's a former champion, so she could be gracious and say, I've got my trophy, you can have this one. But Leslie's a competitor. Competition burns in her stomach with those tamales. And she wants bookends. So, we're going to have a two tamale eat off between Leslie and Charlene. Whoever can swap, take down the two tamales and clear completely first is our winner. And whoever doesn't is second place, which is still good. It's the first loser, but it's still good. We have a tie for fifth place with 24. Well, those numbers earlier sound pretty small now. 24 tamales tied for fifth with Andy from PALS and Clarence of ITS. Fourth place, a former champion for engineering, Jeff Kelly with 27. We have a tie for second place at 30. And the tie is between Wade Peck of PALS and Jerome Butch of Facilities. And our men's champion for this year's competition, with by far shattering, since all of them beat the record, this shatters the record, 33 tamales, Cole Ellis of Fire. I don't know if congratulations are in order or condolences, but um, nevertheless, good job, Cole, our men's champion, our two women's First place finishers are ready for the two tamale eat off. No timer on this, it's just whoever finishes first. I'd like to get a couple of judges there to watch. So we have a panel, but make sure the audience can see. Make sure the audience can see more than just your <clears throat> back. Mr. Mr. Mike. Mike. The audience can't see anything but you, man. They're not here to see you. Did these pants make my bow look bad? Yeah, blame the pants. <laughs> All right. So, on three, two, one, go. Okay, Leslie has the first one down. Charlene has the first one down. Charlene is swallowing. They're calling crumbs on Charlene. Leslie is swallowing. Charlene is thinking, do I want to eat those crumbs or is it worth it? Charlene is waving the white napkin of surrender. But Leslie clears two. Leslie is once again our winner to the champion. Wow. You will tell your grandchildren one day that you witnessed this amazing event here in Louisville and pray move to Western Day. Thanks for coming out. We are enthusiastic, so important, patient. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Four more round of hands for the eater.